Hi, this is Ben from BillCalc, and welcome to another video about using BillCalc to make your construction math easier. Today's topic, rafters. Common rafters, hip rafters, and jack rafters, plus all the obscure cuts required to do them right. There's a lot of information to cover today, so I've already launched the iPhone simulator so we can dive right in. We'll start with common rafters. Now common rafters are really just the hypotenuse of a triangle. You're going to need two pieces of information to calculate the common rafter. You're going to need the pitch and the rise, or you're going to need the pitch and the run, or you're going to need the rise and the run. So let's try out first the good old 3-4-5 triangle to see how rise and run will give you diagonal. So let's try first a 4 feet rise, a three feet run, and to get the common rafter we press the diagonal. Now let's press diagonal a second time and we get a table of all the important information for a common rafter. Again it repeats the diagonal but we get the plum and the level cut as well as the pitch and then it repeats the rise and the run. You also notice that it has the triangle here. Now this is handy for folks who are doing material estimation for gables. If you've got a gable that has a rise and a run, it'll give you the area of that triangle. Thought you'd be interested in that. Okay, now we've seen how to calculate common rafters. Let's go a step further and take a look at hip rafter and those cuts. One press of the hip rafter key and we're starting off here with the input parameters. Now, again, four feet for the rise, three feet for the run. It's showing our pitch, and we've got it set up for regular hip roofs. Just to repeat, I'm going to pull up an illustration from the build calc manual so you can see the difference between regular and irregular hip roofs. Here we go. Now, in this manual, what we've got is a roof here where it shows a hip boundary. Now a regular hip roof, the pitch of the B section is equal to the pitch of the A section. An irregular hip roof, they'll have two different pitches, and the cuts are a lot more complicated. Let's get back to Bill Calc now. All right, we've got those input in here. If we scroll on down in Bill Calc, what we see now is the hip valley rafter length. We've also got, again, the plumb cut and the level cut for the hip rafter. And we've got the cheek cuts. Now the cheek cuts, remember, are the two cuts at the top of the hip rafter as it meets up with the common rafters. We've got the hip backing angle that helps make sure that the sheathing goes on top of the hip properly. And we've got a plan angle to compare it against. For reference, we've got the hip rafter pitch. And if you're doing purlins, we've got the miter and bevel cuts or side and edge cuts for those as well. And last, we have the sheathing edge cut to make sure you get the sheathing right. All right, with that information provided, we can go a step further. Let's do jack rafters for a regular hip roof first. And after we do that, we're going to come back and take a look at more of the features of the hip belly function, like your regular hip roofs. So let's finish up with the hip belly function and take a look at the jack rafters. One press of the jack key, and now what we have here is our layout for jack rafters. The very first piece of information is important. It's what the jack rafter on center spacing is for this particular calculation. If you don't want to put your jack rafters at 60 inch centers, maybe you want to go to 19 and a half, maybe you want to go to 12, you can change that. We'll do that first. Back to done, and we'll change it to 12 inches. One, two, inch, and we're going to store on center. Okay, now that on center spacing is at 12 inches, we'll tap jack again. All right, what we have now is we have the jack rafter space, jack rafter lengths, assuming they'll be spaced 12 inches apart. And so the first one is 3 feet and 4 inches, the second is 1 feet and 8, and the third is 0. So it's at the very end of the cut. Now, it also shows the plumb and level cut for the jack rafters, the cheek cut, the pitch, minor pitch, 
which of course is the same because this is a regular hip roof, the rise, the run, and the minor run. So we have those basic input parameters there. Okay, what if you wanted to cut your jack rafters and, and space them instead of the longest first, meaning basically that the distance from your first jack rafter is going to be exactly your on center distance, 12 inches from the common rafter on your roof. What if you wanted to start it down at the short end and have that space be zero? Well, this particular example, it just happened to work out to be zero. But let's try this in a different example. We'll convert prefs. I'm going to scroll on down here. And what we can do is calculate the jack rafters. So here it is, longest first. We can change that to shortest first. What that means is the jack rafter calculation will be done where instead of the longest jack rafter will be exactly your on center distance from the common rafter, it's going to be your shortest jack rafter is going to be exactly the on center distance from the very tip of the hip roof. So let's try that jack again. And here you go. Now I've got the first one at one foot three inches, the second one at two foot six inches, and the third foot at three foot nine inches. So they spaced them out exactly that distance away from the tip of the roof. They're in ascending order instead of descending order. So that gives you that for the jack rafter key. Now let's go back to the hip key and let's talk about your regular hip roofs. Yep. And what we can do is easily just click on irregular. Here we've got now again our same rise, our same run, um, our minor run now is stored in bill cow and we've got a major pitch and a minor pitch. Well with this minor run being so large you can see the pitch is tiny and the pitch happens to be in fractional inch pitches for this particular example. Let's go ahead and make this pitch, we'll change the pitch itself to something in degrees. Tap on the minor regular pitch cell and let's enter what we want. So let's make it 30 degrees. 3 0 oh, degree and say done. Bill Calc automatically changed the minor run to correspond to a 30 degree pitch. As a result now we've got a lot more information in the calculator results section. We still have the rafter length, the plumb and the level cut. The cheek cuts now are one for both sides. One on the um, major side and one on the minor side. Now we've also got different hip backing angles, one for the major side and the minor side. Our plan angles change correspondingly. We still have a pitch for the major for the hip valley rafter, but now our purlins a lot more information. Our major purlin, it has a side and edge angle cuts, and on the minor purlin, the side and edge angle cuts. And of course our sheathing as well, a major sheathing and a minor sheathing cut angle. Now sometimes, and this is a good example of it, when you have particularly short rafters and you're necessarily not wanting to be able to go through the complexity of using a handheld protractor, you can make the cuts on a miter saw. One tap of the miter saw button and everything's recalculated assuming you want the results for a miter saw. That makes it easy to set things up and do some work. So if you're doing a playhouse for example, you could do all the work on the ground and save you a lot of time measuring. Back to Protractor. Okay, with this in mind we also can take a look at the jack rafter lengths for this irregular hip roof. At one tap of the jack button and we get the major jack rafters layout. And here they are laid out for everything we need to have done. And then say done and jack a second time and now we get the minor jack rafters laid out. 12 inch spacing on this one, back to jack again, 12 inch spacing on this one. Now what that's going to mean is, is that with this particular layout, the jack rafters are not going to meet each other at the hip. So the on center spacing is fixed in both cases at 12 inches. But let's say you wanted them to meet at the hip. How could you do that? Well with Bill Calc, we'll go here and say convert prefs and we're going to scroll to the bottom again and we're going to change our spacing of minor jack rafters from on center to mate at hip valley and say done. Okay now we've got that set up done again. Let's take a look at our jack. 
Okay, our major hip rafters are still spaced at 12 inches. Done. Check. But our minor is spaced at 9. So what Bill Calc does is it figures out which one is going to have to have the widest spacing and it makes that the on center spacing. And the other side will be narrower in order to make sure that you don't exceed your on center spacing. Well, there's a lot of information we covered here on Hip Valley Rafters, and I bet you'll have some questions. If you like to, email me at info at billcalc.com and I'll be happy to try to answer them for you. Thanks for showing an interest in Bill Calc, and I hope to hear from you soon. Good night.